next alert forecast. Good morning. It's good to see you again on this Friday, last day of the work week. It is 516 and I hope that your day is off to a nice start. Our weather, you know, it could be a little better. We have wet roads out there. Some of you are waking up to a little snow on the ground and then we have the light snow moving through this morning. Uh, this looks a lot worse than it is. OK, I know the radar makes it look like we're all waking up to heavy snow, but that's just not the case. Most of this is pretty light as it drifts generally off towards the east and southeast. In the wake of this light snow, I think that you'll see a little lake effect developing throughout the day. Not a major lake effect event accumulation. It will be light. We're mostly cloudy and windy otherwise and cold temperatures in the 30s through the morning, lower end 30s, and then we drop into the 20s this afternoon. But with that wind factored in, it will feel like it's in the teens all day. So you want to stay bundled up today. We drop to 18 by 11 o'clock tonight. Certainly not a warm March day by any, you know, any means. We stay cold through the night, light snow or flurries possible tonight. But again, I don't think we're going to see a ton of snow with this lake effect. Here's future view. And from now through tonight, I think most of us pick up on about an inch or less. If we do see any snow squalls setting up, you could see higher totals on the order of two to three inches. Places like Chardon, uh, even out into Jefferson, northern Trumbull County, northern Portage. Again, it all depends on where those squalls set up, but most of us just see light snow and cold weather. Cold is the big story all through the weekend. 25 for a high temperature tomorrow after we wake up at about 14 degrees. 16 overnight Saturday into Sunday. 28 degrees on Sunday. Most of our weekend is at least dry, but there's a little chance tomorrow that you could run into some light snow, primarily out in the snow belt. Accumulation and impact will be low. Let's look ahead to next week. We're all about this system coming down the pipe for Monday into Tuesday because this is going to bring bigger impacts than what we're seeing right now and bigger impacts than the lake effect that we'll see today. So it's going to roll in late Monday. And it will continue into Tuesday. I think those commutes on Tuesday, both morning and evening, could be a little rocky. On the back edge of that system, we get a little more snow in the eastern edge of our viewing area on Wednesday. So it looks like a very wintry and very cold start to our work week. John? All right.